I'm Nicolas Pecchio, I'm a neurologist, specifically child neurologist, and I come from Rome, uh, Bambino Gesù Children's Hospital. Um, I mainly uh, do my job most of the time in epilepsy and, uh, and with uh, children with uh, severe uh, epileptic conditions. We, uh, since some years, we are a referral center for Italy for HH. And therefore, we see a quite huge number of patients. We try to uh, organize for children evaluations that are not done only by uh, neurologists, but also by other specialists in order to uh, diagnose quite early, eventually, other, uh, other conditions like uh, uh, precocious puberty or uh, behavioral or cognitive problems. So we uh, try to organize uh, special consultation with different specialists. Regarding the drugs, we uh, try to use the less that we can. Uh, we know uh, that drugs might be useful in, for some kind of re uh, seizures, like for tonic generalized seizures, like for focal motor seizures, like for uh, atonic seizures or tonic seizures. They might improve quality of life and they might reduce the number of seizures, the anti-epileptic medication. But uh, unfortunately, on elastic seizures, there's no chance to have a result. Therefore, we try to balance as far as we can the treatment with those children. Oh, as far as the children comes to us, uh, uh, after the consultation, the clinical consultation, we uh, organize a very brief hospitalization. So the patient comes in ward and he has a three Tesla MRI, uh, sometimes uh, with uh, specific sequences, some uh, DTI sequences in order to evaluate the uh, fibers and also a complete neuropsychological evaluation that might last also a couple of days. Uh, our psychologist used to do a few things per day, so it takes a couple of days. And in all cases, uh, we also organize a long-term monitoring in order to catch uh, eventual uh, seizures, gelastic seizures, but uh, most important, in order to understand how he structured the sleep of those children. As far as sometimes uh, children might have a disrupted sleep, and disrupted sleep, it means that might have attention deficit in, in the, during the day. So that's the basic evaluation. After that, uh, we decide to, uh, about the medications, we decide about the possible uh, st surgical strategies, and uh, all of the patients are included in our epilepsy surgery program. And uh, the, uh, um, after the discussion in the uh, meeting, we decide if proceed to surgery or to wait or what to do. And then we have about every three to six months uh, evaluation has outpatient in the outpatient clinic. But in again, in the outpatient clinic, the patient will see not only the neurologist, but also the endocrinologist, will see also the psych psychologist and uh, the surgeon every time in order to discuss again about the possibility. As far as this is a rare disease, it is important to understand how much is complex. Um, it is important to uh, find a physician that is quite expert on this field. And uh, last but not least, it is very important that the family might have the support of an advocacy group that is uh, very, well, very well welcome in those situations.